Now, the European Parliament is staring down the barrel of a major corruption scandal. It has voted to strip Greek lawmaker Eva Kaley of her role as vice president after she was arrested by the Belgian police. Kaley is one of four people targeted as part of a probe into alleged payments and gifts by Qatar to parliament members. The suspended lawmaker is currently in custody in Belgium, where she will remain until the 22nd of December. Kaley, who along with Qatar has denied any wrongdoing, was due to appear before judges with three other suspects on Wednesday, but did not appear for the session. Her lawyer said that she had asked for more time to prepare for her detention hearing. Kaylee's partner, Francesco Giorgi, who is a parliamentary assistant, will stay in detention. So will fellow accused, Pier Antonio Panzeri, a former member of EO, EU Parliament and founder of a non-profit campaign group. Μίλησα με την κυρία Καηλή σήμερα και έσπασε τη σιωπή της. Εκφράζει τα παράπονά της για τη στάση που κρατούν απέναντί της οι συνάδελφοί της μέσα στο Ευρωπαϊκό Κοινοβούλιο. Η απόφαση να πάει στο Κατάρ δεν ήταν μια προσωπική της απόφαση. Ήταν μια απόφαση του Ευρωπαϊκού Κοινοβουλίου όπου είναι σύμφωνες και η Ευρωπαϊκή Επιτροπή και ο εκπρόσωπος σε θέματα εξωτερικής πολιτικής, ο κύριος Μπορέλ. Earlier, her legal team insisted that she was innocent and did not know of the existence of cash found at her Brussels home. They said that her Italian boyfriend, George, might have answers about the existence of the cash in question. The Belgian police have meanwhile released photos of suitcases and briefcases packed with cash recovered from one of the suspects' homes. While Kaylee and her team deny any charges, EU Parliament leaders have condemned the alleged act of corruption. Well, obviously we are very uh, worried about uh, the reports about uh, corruption in the European Parliament, but I'm also very much uh, supporting the European Parliament, uh, Parliament President, Metzola. I think uh, she made some um, uh, excellent uh, interventions over the last uh, 48 hours. Uh, she will be with us tomorrow uh, at the European Council, and I will give her my full support in, in, in her work to, to get to the bottom of this. It was an overwhelming majority. I think out of 630 people, a single one did not want to strip her of this position. So it's a clear sign that no one in the parliament accepts these kinds of corrupt behavior. No one thinks that she should represent our institution as vice president any longer. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.